Hello, this is a quick demonstration of how to use Picasa's photo software to upload your pictures to Tribal Pages. First, let's take a look at how to install both Picasa and the Tribal Pages Upload button. From your edit page, choose the Upload Photos under the Photo menu. You'll see a link to the right that says Google Picasa Uploader. If you click that, it'll take you to a page explaining how to download both Picasa and the button. First thing you'll want to do is click here to get download the Picasa 3.8. Please use 3.8 or higher as earlier versions had some issues. If you click here, you'll have a normal download that your browser starts. I've already installed Picasa, so I will skip this, but it's a normal in install shield installation. After Picasa is installed, you can click this link, which installs the Picasa upload button. Now, if you haven't installed Picasa, this, this link here will not work, so please make sure you have Picasa installed. When you click this link, Picasa will open up and you'll be given an option to launch Picasa and import the buttons. Here, when you bring this up, the, Picasa, the, the tri Tribal Pages link will be over here to the left and you'll need to add it to your list. In my case, it's already loaded. I'll hit Cancel. Once you've done this, you can sign out of your account. You do not need to keep your browser open to use the Picasa Upload button. Once you have this installed, Picasa is a great way to do a lot of things with your photos. The first thing it does is it helps you organize. It will search your entire, your entire documents folder and find your pictures and try to classify them based on the name of the folders. In this case, you can see that we've got a bunch of albums I've put together. And you'll also see that it goes through and finds all the pictures that have individual people in them. So actually you can go through and find your face or your family's faces in your pictures and help you classify them that way. A few of the things you can change with Picasa, you can go through and, for example, do some very simple manipulation very quickly. One of the things you could do, for example, is you could open this photo and crop it. You hit crop, draw a box, and crop out this bad section over here on the right, hit apply, and you're done. You might want to go, th go in and sharpen this photo. That's probably too much, but you can sharpen that photo, make it a little bit clearer, hit apply. One of the best things about Picasa is it keeps all of your edits and it keeps your original photo. So you can go back and undo that sharpen at any time, even a week later or a month later. It keeps track of everything you've changed on the pictures. So if I want to go back here, I can show another useful quick feature is you can go in and add text to a picture. For example, here you might want to say Weber Reunion 1924, 34, and it's very effective in being able to you know, pick a color out of your, your picture to match the text to. So there we've got our text on this. We might, if we're going to upload three or four of these together, we might want them all to be sepia tone. So it's got a very quick sepia effect you can add if you want to do that. Again, you can undo it, which I don't really like the artificial sepia tone. The final thing I'm going to show here is something that came up recently in Picasa. And let's say you have a great picture of somebody, but they have a, a blemish, a zit. Uh, they have an excellent retouch tool here. It'll let you come in, click the item, and very quickly go into your picture and clean that up. All right, so let's say at this point we've got four pictures well cleaned up and we want to upload to one of our Tribal Pages albums. In this case, we can select them. I just drew a box around them. You'll see they're selected down here in the bottom. And you'll see here we have our Tribal Pages button. This is what we added in the beginning. If you click on that, it'll bring up a page that shows the pictures that are going to be uploaded, as well as lets you log in to your Tribal Pages account. If you click this Remember Me on this computer, it will keep you logged in for approximately six hours. It's usually good, good enough to upload all the photos in one login. 
At this point, if you have more than one site at Tribal Pages, it will ask you which, which site you want to add it to. In my case, we're going to add it to the Smiths of Florida. And here, it'll show the albums you have on your site. I'm going to put them all into the Unsorted Photos album. And then I'm going to click Complete. You'll see the Picasa shows the upload of your pictures over here. And then when it's finished, and it's con you know, confirmed that they're uploaded, it'll actually launch your browser and send you to your page. As you can see, those pictures are all there. Here's our unsorted photos album. And you'll see that all the edits we did, including adding, for example, adding the text here to the Web Reunion, are all done. Thank you for your time, and we hope you enjoy the new tool.